There was a rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen and who feasts sumptuously every day. And at his gate was laid a poor man named Lazarus covered with sores who desired to be fed with what fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, even the dogs come and lick his sores. The poor man died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's side. The rich man also died and was buried and in Hades, being in torment. He lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham for far off and Lazarus at his side. His side. And he called out, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and sent Lazarus to dip the end of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am in anguish and in this flame. But Abraham said, Child, remember that you in your lifetime received your good things and Lazarus in like manner, bad things. But now he is comforted here and you are in anguish. And besides all this, between you and between us and you, a great chasm has been fixed in order that those who would pass from here to you may not be able and, more, and not any across from there to us. And he said, Then I beg you, Father, to send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them, lest they also come into this place of torment. But Abraham said, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. And he said, No, Father Abraham, but if someone goes to them from the dead, they will repent. He said to him, If they do not hear Moses and the prophets, neither will they be convinced if someone should rise from the dead. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for this time. Once again, we hear the word of Christ. Lord, give us an accepting heart that we may understand and we may uh, apply, Lord, into our lives the words that we will hear through the help of the Holy Spirit. Help us as we continue, Lord, in studying the word and your Holy Spirit move in a special way to each and every one of us and we glorify your name so that we can be better. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Salam ko po ay sobrang excited niyo sa message ng Panginoon dahil nag-iitin kayo kanina sa mga Pakistan. At hayaan uh, natin ang salita ng Panginoon sa pangunan ng Panginoon na Spirito ay siyang patuloy na magpahina at magpaunawa sa atin ang kanyang mga salita. Gaya po ng ating nakaraang pag-aaral, ito pong chapter 16 ng Luke ay evangelistic. Ito no, pong kanya pong message. So yung pong first part ng chapter 16, yung pong ating napakaralan, 
hindi na Friday, nung uh, Friday before no Friday, ay about the school managers. At uh, nakita po rin doon that the school managers have only a small uh, time. Tapos natanggalin na po siya doon sa kanyang pagka-manager at ginamit niya yung anumang bagay na meron siya. Actually, wala siya meron. Ang meron nga niya, posisyon. But, ginamit niya yung kanyang posisyon for his future benefit. But yung duro po sa atin, no? we have given us so many things ng, sa, ng Panginoon. We have given us talent, no? pleasures, wealth, at maraming pang binigay. No? Ang tanong, are we using all these things for the kingdom purpose? So ngayon po, at pagkatapos nun, ay nagkaroon ng in-between. No? Dun sa 16, uh, first part, tapos dun sa soon na preaching, yung about the word of God, no? na sabi ay walang isang mga stroke o tudo na lilipas ay mawawala. Lumipas man ang langit at ang lupa, but yung salita ng Panginoon ay manangkili. At kung kaya po naisingit doon yung sapi from the divorce. No? Because ang um, intention ng ating mga suposito, kaya hindi na elaborate masyado ni Mark uh, ni Luke yung about the divorce is to give that the word of God is still there no? hindi mabago niyo o mabago no? kaya po tayo na magkaroon ng insight niyo at uh, ngayon po ay dito naman tayo sa uh, kung dun sa unang part ay pinakita sa atin on how we use our life, our resources our talents No, for kingdom purpose ay binigyan po tayo dito sa ating pag-aaral ng leaves no? on the other side of life ano nga po ng iba yan ang batalagang buhay yes. after yes. death at sabi naman iba yan ang bang life after birth okay po <laughs> so di mo makikita natin that there is life after that, ito po sa inalimbawa ng ating pansupuesto sa ating pasahe. Death has made a rude entrance in many of our lives. No? When someone close to us dies, we can help but wonder what will happen to us when we stop breathing. Ano mangyayari sa atin kapag uminti na tayo So Jesus told the story one day to help illustrate the sadness of death. Ito po sa ating pasari. Ano pong isang kwento? A little girl was standing outside her Sunday school classroom when the pastor noticed her that he is holding a storybook. At yung title po ng storybook is Noah and the way alam ko familiar ko kayo dun sa uh, story na yun uh, Jonah and the way so the pastor want to have some fun with her dun po sa little girl uh, so he asked her do you really believe that Jonah was swallowed by a whale Then the little girl ay medyo nag-isip ng konti pagkatapos siya ripon niya Of course, I do Then the pastor pushed her in Pushed siya ng konti Pushed niya may And then sinabi po ng pastor You really believe that a man can be swallowed by a big whale? Stay inside her in three days? and then come out and still alive? At uh, naisip po yung little girl. Ang sabi po niya, Absolutely! 
the story is in the Bible. Nabasa niyo ba yun? Hindi ba? Nabasa niyo ka naman. And we will study this it in Sunday school today. Sabi nung no, no little girl. Then the pastor asked again, Can you prove me that the story is true? Nag-isip ko rin siya ka naman little girl. So sabi niya, Well, when I get to heaven, I will ask Jonah. Pag nakarat niya ako sa lang, ay tatanong ko kay Jonah. Eh, nagtanong mo nito yung pastor. The pastor was on the roll to ask. What if Jonah not in heaven? Eh, kung si Jonah ay wala doon sa langit. Sabi, sabi nung uh, nag, nag-isip yung ano, yung little girl, no? sabi niya, pag wala, eh, pag, wala yung, pag wala si Jonah sa heaven, sabi nitong pastor, at pagkatapos sabi nung uh, batang babae, then you can ask him. <laughs> Ibig sabihin, kung wala siya sa heaven, ay nasa ibang lugar siya, at yung pastor na magtanong. Kasi yung kinag-uusapan natin kanina Doon sa Bible study Heaven and Earth Saan mga mapunta yung soul Soul after death no? So ito yung Kwento uh, doon sa San Miguel Girl So kapag siya ay nakarating ng langit At wala si Jonah ron Sabi niya sa pastor, ikaw na magtanong Baka ikaw may kasama sa kanya Parang may nakita yung bata sa pastor na yung ginagawa. Oh, may siguro. Kaya ano yun siya. So what happened when you die? Ano nung magyayari kapag tayo ay namatay na? At ito ay in-address ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo dito sa Luke 16, chapter 16, verses 19 to 31. No? Kaya sabi ko kanina yung kung first part nung chapter 16, He established the fact that you and I no, are managers of all that He has given us. We are responsible to manage our time, our talent, and our treasures for kingdom purpose, purposes. No. At meron pong three contrasts ang um, makikita po natin sa ating pasay. Tingnan po natin yung kont- mga contrasts nito. At pagkakas tingnan natin yung mga magtututunan natin dito sa pasahe natin. Now, yung pong unang contrast, a contrast in life. Verses 19 to 21. Dito po, we're introduced a rich man. Ito pong rich man na hindi lang siya rich but extremely wealthy. He lives in a home with a gate to keep others away from him. So Jesus tells us na ito pong rich man ay nagsusuot daw ng damid made of purple. purple. So normally, itong uh, damid na made of purple ay reserved lang po sa mga royal family, sa mga royal family. So the process to get the purple ride from selfish shellfish was very expensive. Pero ito pong tao na to, he don't care. No, kung magkano man yung halaga, he wanted the very best. At hindi lang po yung robe niya with a purple, in addition, sabi po, of his beautiful robe, meron din siyang t-shirt or underwear, made from a finest linen available. Finest linen. Now, ito pong linen was produced from the flocks that grow on the banks of the Nile River. It was white, very soft, and kept him cool in the warm weather. So, alam ko sa ganitong panahon, may ganun yung sinusot natin. But we can afford Uh, yung hindi tayo rich na kagaya nitong rich man. Because it was so expensive, 
it was only worn by those who were really rich. The last down, it was just king and queen who could afford it. So this guy had it all and lived in a dusty splendor every day. Uh, while some people are quiet dun sa mga uh, pag-aari nila, ito daw, uh, rich man ito, ay lumalabas na nagmam, nagmamata, ayun, nagmamataas no? at nagpaparig para malaman lang ang iba kung gaano siya a rich. <clears throat> he loved, he was in love with himself. Marami siyang mga katulong, no? bountiful yung kanyang uh, mga pagkain, sagana siya sa pagkain, at magara yung kanyang tahanan. So, pag daw siya ay lumalabas with his chariot, no? nagmakain siya sa mga restaurant, finest restaurant, no? ay nadadaan-daan lang ngayon itong si Lazarus. No? na nakaupo dun sa tabi ng kanyang team. Yun po yung rich man. Ito namang si Lazarus, I was not able to walk. No? So someone will bring him to the gate of the rich man's house. No? Back to big umaga. So kung yung uh, mayaman ay Marami siyang mga pag-aari, marami pagkain, lahat halos lahat meron siya. Ito namang si Lazaro ay wala. Lazarus was in need of everything. Wala siyang bahay, toko, at yung kanyang help ay nagpipig. At uh, siya ay outcast. No? And he had no food. No? As he observed the rich man, nitong, nitong si Lazarus, siya po ay nagnanais na mabigyan kahit nung leftover lang. No? Yung tira-tira lang na pagkain nitong uh, rich man. No? Hindi kaya yung mga mungo na nalalag lang dun sa kanyang table. It's the crumbs that fell from his table. So yun daw pong kasama lang niya, no? basa doon sa aming nabasa, ay isang asgal. No? Asong gala. As play dogs. Asgal. Asong gala. No? At outcast nila. No? At itong aso ay dumating siya doon upang ilik yung kanyang mga suga na bumabaya sa kanyang katawan. No? While ito ng mga rich man, ay ini-ignore sila. But, but itong aso naman ay nagbibigay ng comfort dito kay Lazarus sa pagnilidig niya ng kanyang mga swap. No? At least, naiibsan yung pain no? kapag nilidig nitong dog. So sila yung magkasama dun sa labas. No? <clears throat> When the rich man was clothed with powerful, the poor man was covered with oozing misery. Mabuti siya na mga suda, mga asos. He probably knew that this contact, yung kung rich man, alam niya kapag nakakon, nakaroon siya ng contact yung sa dogs, ay hindi na siya maaaring makapasok sa mga sinagoga. As they consider yung dog as uh, defiant, no? they're outcast. So ayaw niya magkakontak sa kanila. <clears throat> At pag ganun ay hindi na siya makaten doon sa mga sinagoga. So yun po yung contrast ng kanilang buhay ni itong si Richman at ni Lazarus. At yung pong pangalawang contrast is a contrast in death. Pero nung kanilang buhay, sila yung parehong namatay. 
Well, there was an obvious contrast in how the rich man and the poor man lived their lives. There was also a difference in their death. Na makaiba rin po yung kanilang pagkamatay. When Lazarus died, his misery finally ended. Yung paghihirap ni Lazarus ay nawala na nung siya ay namatay. Even though he didn't receive a proper burial or even a memorial service. Kasi nga, mahirap na. Uh, binalot lang siya ng kubat. Uh, Alam pang bilhin ng kapawol. When the rich man died, he had a fantastic funeral. Alam po natin yan, dahil na uh, experience po natin sa ating mga kanyang mga lugar. Kapag namatay ang isang mayama, there is a fantastic funeral. Itong buhay po natin. In that culture, sa kanilang culture po, kapag namatay ang isang mayaman, no, yung po ang kanilang family ay nag-hire po ng mga mourner. Sa may bulakan, nag-hire sila mga banda. Nagulat ako misan. Nung sa mga botas, may tumutugtog ka ng pista. Pagdaan, hindi din pala. Gusto no? pala din ang pagdaan. Sana hindi ka sila siya. So nag nagahal po sila ng tagaiyak, no? Nagmo-mourn. Nag bumibili sila ng costly spices for the body and use an elaborate tomb for the burial. So yung pong buong town, no? Ay nakikidalam hati at nakikinig din sa mga ayak at presentation nito mga professional weaver. Papasabay ka na ng marami and uh, the litany of praise heaped upon the rich man by countless eulogies. He learned too late, no? Alaman niya, Rina, that <coughs> he who dies with the most toys still die. Ay pala meron kang mahal na darwa. Ay, mamatay ka rin pala. So, pare pare sila. Sabi nga, uh, gaano man kalaki, kalawak yung ari-ariyan mo, yung lote mo. At the end, parehas lang kayo nung mahirap. 3 feet by 6 feet? Na 6 feet? Yung lang pala. Uh, parehas lang kayo ng uh, lote na kailangan. Uh, at naikwento ko dati, nung uh, binigyan siya ng uh, karapatang ng uh, Maka-acquire ng lahat ng ari-arian. So, sige lang siya nung sige ang mga Samaritina. Kailangan, hindi po ang buhay ang araw, kapalit ka. Pag hindi ka nakapalit, lahat ng natakaan ng pamo ay hindi na sa'yo. Ginawa niya ro. Eh, sobrang galit. Galit ba tawag yun? No, Bulululubog na yung araw, hindi po bumabalik. So, bumalik siya. Pagbalik niya, hindi po makarating sa finish line. Kung gloves, sa sobrang pago, patay. So, <laughs> ang liit lang pala na kailangan lang. So, yun po yung contrast ng kailangan uh, death. No? At pagkatapos, dun sa 23 to 31, a contrast in eternity. At kinagutan na tapos, 23 to 31. <laughs> but as soon as Lazarus died, the angel came and took him to the place where Abraham was. No? Through his highlights were expected to share with Abraham in the world to come. Abraham is regarded in scripture as being not only the great patriarch, as Hebrews 7 4 says, but also the father of all believers. Romans 4 11. To be considered a friend of Abraham was the highest honor possible. And true happiness would be to spend eternity at his side. Oh, yun po yung uh, uh, expected po ng mga Israelita. Kung ikaw ay namatay, nasa piling ka ni Abraham, then a place of honor. Uh, in some Bible, in some translation, no, uh, makabasa po natin yun, yung sa ating text, sabi rin, Abraham's son. But sa iba po, sabi rin, Abraham's 
bosong. Mm-hmm. Sa ibang translation. Abraham's bosong. So, doon po sa culture nila, most honor seat in a banquet would be nearest the host. At marahil ay maalala din natin, maalala natin ng ating pangang sa Kristo, lagi itong si John. Pag sila ay kumakain ay naka-incline no? sa table. At yung ulo ng isa ay naka-hilig uh, doon sa dibdib ng isa. So si John, nakahilig yung ulo niya sa dibdib ng ating pangang So, Reclining in a such a way that one's head was near his chest. No one who had here to receive from and scrub. Now, yung daw uh, nagnanais maka, maka tanggap ng mga mumu na nalalaglag sa dulang nitong rich man ay ngayon nagpekesta siya doon sa Ni Abraham. So the rich man went to hell or sa Hades, sabi po kanina, no? probably a place called Hades. He was in terrible torment and awful agony. No? And as he looked up, he saw Lazarus far away. No? At doon po siya sa tabi ni Abraham. So The rich man cried out na napakalakas na boses po. No? Sabi niya, Father Abraham, mahabag ka sa akin. At subuhin mo itong si Lazaro to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue because I am in agony in this flame or fire. Nakita po natin doon yung chains from the way he lived his life. Itong si rich man. He could have everything he ever wanted to eat and drink. Mangari siya magkaroon. Lahat ng kanya nais kainin at inumin. But now, a small drop of water. I can tell to not miss it. Nung siya ay nandun na sa Hades. So, ang tanong ko kanina, saan daw pupunta? Yung soul. Huwag nung matay ka. I-explain na sana ni Pastor Lawrence, but sabi nung iba, huwag muna. Huwag na nang ibit si Pastor Bob. <laughs> so, ito po. Nakita natin na daw tayong dalawa, yung isa na amunta sa feeling ni Hamra Amos is heaven, at yung isa sa hell, sa Hades or hell. And even though he was indifferent and apathetic toward Lazarus when they were both alive, nung sila'y nabubuhay pa, no? So wala siyang problema ngayon na i-treat itong si Lazarus na parang siya ay personal servant. How ironic to ask a favor from the very person who never received favor from him. May amin siya ng pabor. Pero ito ang tao, dinadaan-daanan niya, no, napakayaman niya, hindi man niya pinapansin. No? At ngayon, humihingi siya ng pabor. And Abraham tells this rich man, no, child, sabi niya sa basa natin, remember, kung paang ka ng buhay, kung ikaw ay nabubuhay. His mind is filled of images of poor Lazarus. Si Abraham, bawat tumalabas siya, nakikita niya itong si Lazarus. No, lying, para upo siya doon sa kanyang gate at nililik itong dog, yung kanyang mga sugat. At marahil naalala rin nitong rich man no, na may mga taong nagsubok o sumubok no, na bahaginan siya about God. At naalala rin niya siguro dahil nagpupunta siya sa mga sinagoga, yung mga sermon. He remembered those who warned him about the coming judgment. Yung mga pinag-aaralan din, yung mga judgment kanina. Narahil ay naalala itong rich man ng mga to. No, yung kung kanyang memories ay puno ng mga 
It is impossible to forget in the mga memories kapag ikaw ay nandun na sa lugar kung saan itong si rich man. The rich man could not take his money. Hindi niya pwedeng dalit ang kanyang mga ari-arian. But he did keep his memory. Dala-dala niya ang kanyang mga alaala. So Abraham then stated that it is absolutely impossible for Lazarus to come and help him now. There is a great chasm between heaven and hell that is fixed so that those who want to go from one place to another cannot do. Parang bangin na nag-iiwalay. Nandun ka, hindi ka makarating doon at kung siya hindi siya makarating doon. The lost and the redeemed are separated forever. Forever sila separated. Yung lost at saka yung redeemed. There are no exit sign in hell. Kung gusto mo mag-exit, wala po. Wala mong exit sign doon. Because it is a place of everlasting punishment. Walang exit sign. The rich man is still in hell today. At nag, uh, nandun po yung pag-iirin niya. Kasi everlasting na. So, kung gusto niyo yung malito. <laughs> so, the rich guy, no, then tries one more plea. No, na, 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 uh, na, makaawa yan. Yeah. Makaawa ulit itong mayaman. No? At this time, he begs Abraham to send Lazarus to his family members. He's beginning to understand the mission of the church. Yung mission of the church. Ayaw niyang makasama doon yung kanyang mga kapatid. Ganong kasakit, ito ba yung dinaranas? Kung mahal mo yung mga mahal sa buhay, ayaw mo silang makarating doon. Gaya nito ang rich na. He don't want any company in hell and especially he did not want his brother to join him there. He now knows the absolute critical importance of repentance. Naalala niya po yun. Napakalaga ng repentance before it's too late. He's hoping that if Lazarus would just go back and warn them that they would change if his brothers who, known, who no doubt has seen Lazarus by the front of his gate or pinapasyalan siya ng kanyang mga kapatid at nakikita nila doon itong si Lazarus <clears throat> then makita nila silang makita niya silang Pumalik mula sa mga patay, then baka sila ay magbaham. Abraham tells him that his brother have everything they need. No? Yung kanyang mga kapatid ay uh, nandun na lahat ng kanilang kailangan. No? They have the Moses and the prophets, o yung the Bible, the books of the Bible, is uh, the, the nung po sa kanila, Moses and Prophets. Sa atin nga, meron ng New Testament. So, they have their Bibles. They can listen to the believers who can explain the way to heaven. They have uh, pastors. They have Christian uh, friends there na magsasabi sa kanila the way to heaven. 
But this rich man doesn't like this answer because ilala po niya yung kanyang mga kapatid. Ilala niya. He knows they just turned out God and were chasing materialism just like he was. Doon po sila abala yung mga material things. Wala silang panahon sa mga ganitong pagtitipon o sa mga pag-aal ng Biblia o pagkakapikini ng mga satan. They are busy no, acquiring material things. If someone would come back from the dead, then they would repent. But Abraham responded by saying that even a resurrection will not convince them kapag sila ay hindi naniwala din sa mga landro kahit na yung patay ang pumunta sa kanila ay hindi yun sila mga maniniwala because they are not open sa mga spiritual matters so yun po yung three contrasts kung sila ay ng buhay at kama sila sa so pagkamatay nila at kung sila ay nandun na sa kanya-kanyang lugar. Then, tingnan po natin yung mga lesson ng ating magturo mo. Muna, the dead are still alive. Nakita niyo po nun, buhay, buhay yung si, si Richman, buhay. Si Lazarus, buhay. They are still alive. No? Both Lazarus and the Richman survived their own funeral. We think that this land is the land of living, but it's a really now. This is a land of dying. <laughs> when we die, we wake up to spend eternity in either heaven or hell. Either there or either there or there. <laughs> then the dead retains their personalities. No? Lazarus is still Lazarus. Then the rich man is still the rich man. Even in hell, the rich man could see. Matanaw niya sa malayo. Itong si Abraham na nasa piling ni Lazarus. Si Lazarus and as a feeling, it comes to Abraham. He could hear, could feel, recognize, remember. He can speak, reflect. He can fled, suffer. And maganda po rito, he think ahead. Para sa kanyang mga kapatid. There was only one thing he couldn't do. He couldn't get out. Hindi niya, yun lang ang ginagawa. Hindi na siya pwede lumabas tayo. Because sabi nga, there is no exit. Sign. Kagaya sa mga mall. Pag may fire. So, exit ang hanap. Pag wala po nga exit sign. That marks the final separation between the saved and the lost. Once in heaven, always in heaven. Once in hell, Always in hell. No one can pass from one place to another. Sabi po sa ating pinasa. Hell is a place of personal suffering. Three times binanggit po ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo dito. The torment, the suffering, and agony of the rich man. Hell is where God's wrath is poured out. The Bible speaks of the fire that never burns out, a place where a worm does not die, a place of darkness and gloom where there is continual weeping and gnashing of it. Hindi po namamatay daw yung mga uod. Kahit ikaw, hindi ka mamamatay. Gusto mo mamamatay doon, hindi ka mamamatay. But you feel the pain. 
At naalala ko po yung isang evangelist na sabi po niya, siya ay nag-exhort no, sa mga uh, sa lugar na kung saan siya nagtungo, sabi po niya, no, Flee from the rat to come. Sabi po ng evangelist, no, that there will be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth no, para maiwasan niyo yung ganun, flee from the rat to come. And suddenly, one old woman is standing in the crowd and shouted. Sabi po niya, Sir, I have no teeth. Sabi sabi na, nasingog na teeth daw eh. No? Manggaganit yung mga ipin, ngipin, pag nandung ka. At sabi po ng evangelist, teeth were supplied there. <laughs> Oh, so supply daw po yung ngipin doon para magnanasimot din. Those in hell cried out for help that will never come. Wala na. No? Manalain ka pa na manalain doon, your prayer will not answer. So nakita po natin that may magandang nangyari dito sa rich man. No? Doon siya sa hell. Ah, recognize niya, no? Itong si Lazarus ay nasa piling itong si Father Abraham, no? So, kung sa ibang word, na-recognize niya, no? There is God. So, yun po ang nangyari sa kanya. And then, natuto siya manalangin, doon. No? Dati, enjoy lang, enjoy. No? Hindi man manalangin, kasi pagdating niya sa gabi, pagod na, tulog na. At pagising niya sa umaga, late na, hindi na rin makapagpralangin. Takbo na sa bando, ligo, abos na is na. So, ganito yung uh, story nitong rich man. No? Natuto siyang manalangin dun sa hell. But sabi nga, it's too late. No? At naalala niya yung kanyang mga mahal sa buhay. Hell is not a place of one big long party with all of our bodies. Isa po siya ro. Na na the rich man's prayer ay nasagot po nung nandun na siya. At yung rich man po ay na uh, pag-isip-isip niya na realize niya that there is no way out from him. At naalala din niya that people can avoid hell if they put their faith in Jesus Christ. Naalala din niya that someone needs to warn people about the danger they are in. But sabi mo nga, huli na ang lahat. Lahat ng kanyang mga panalayan. Lahat ng kanyang mga a flee na hindi na matutukunan. <clears throat> Sabi po, I shall go to hell because that is where I belong. But I am going to heaven because Jesus Christ died on the cross for me. He took my punishment so that I could go free. Folks, God has done everything necessary for you and me to go to heaven. His creation reflects His handiwork. He's given us the Bible, Christian friends, and multiple opportunities to get on to the road that leads to heaven. You don't have to go to heaven. God's promise and God's provided a way to escape forth. But even God's way of escape will do you no good unless you reach out and take it. Wala rin po magagawa yun kapag yung pinrovide ng ating Panginoon ay nireject po. If you ignore Jesus, which is God's way for us to be in heaven, there is no hope for us. 
God doesn't have a plan B kung po sa ating kaligtasan if we reject His Son. At marahil marahil, marahil po sa atin yung na-experience na yung namatayan. At yan ay masakit no? para sa atin. Kung mahalang sa buhay ay nawala. It's a pain. At wala tayo magagawa. The problems with death is that it's almost always unexpected. Hindi po natin inaasahan niya. So, kaya sa ating pag-aaral kanina, no? salvation, today is the day of salvation because tomorrow may not come. Kaya kung sabi mo lang ngayon, mamaya, hindi mo nakausap. Say, Nikki, what are you doing? Oh, I'm not. I'm going to go to Qatar. 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 Pada tu si Jomri, mana? Masa aku ni lah nak bawa basketball, nak padot, jadi yang accommodation, yang work, macam sama punya, mana? Tak terus nak sila sahul, itu yang siap ni lah, tak terus jadi accommodation. So yang basketball court masa aku punya, minum, bumelik, bumelik, berlorit, yang meja bumeksa. Mga mga ambulansya, ang dating sa ambulansya, expire. O ganun lang po yung buhay. Hindi natin alam. Expire. Sabi po naman yun dyan. Death way. Almost always unexpected kapag dumating po. Kahit sabihin po ng mga doktor, That someone is about to die, death is still as a way of ambushing us. We put a job eighteen fourteen. May relatives put on death as the king of terror. So di mo natin alam itong sa Richman sa ating story kung alam niya ang nasya ay mamatay. Si nandun siya lagi sa sa saganahan. He was too busy with his life, too caught up in this world to even think about the next one. Hindi niya inisip yung bukas dahil sa gana siya. But ito naman kung si Lazaro sa kabilang banda, probably he thought about death every day. Maraming lagi niya inisip na ako pa kaya siya bukas. Pero ito si Rich Man, hindi niya inisip yung mga ganito. And that's Lazarus wonder if he would even wake up the next morning. Nandiyan din sa kanya kalagayan. The clock was ticking for both of them. They both were moving closer to eternity each day. <clears throat> so it might surprise nada po natin yung sinasabi ng Bible. No? That it's actually a good thing to go to a funeral. Sabi ng Bible, it's actually a good thing to go to a funeral. Pero yung iba po ayon na yung punta sa mga funeral kasi tapo tayo na kumikinto sa mga. Pero ako pumunta ako gusto gusto ko na kita yung yung patay. So I put as an English justice. 7 verse 2 It's better to go to a house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. For that is the destiny of every man. The living should take his to heart. Ecclesiastes 7 verse 2 So in other words, it's more profitable to go to a funeral than to go to a party. 
langsung dengar begitu ya. Semakin <laughs> banyak. At least when we are at the funeral, we are forced to think about what will happen to us when we die. Mengandung tadi sa funeral, maliisip natin, ano na kaya ako? Kapag ako ay gaya na niya. Kung sasapati ka, hindi mo maisip yun. God says that it's more profitable to be reminded of that reality than it is just feel our lives with entertainment. At may mga uh, nakausap din naman tayo mga tao at nadiscover natin the most of us no, meron po sila mga different ideas or different plans following me. No, yung pong that we think will get us to heaven. Pag may tanong ka, uh, ako punta ko sila? Of course, yes, sabi niya. Ano sagot niya? Plan, first plan. The good works plan. The good works plan. If you just do a lot of good things, if you have enough people, then God will let you into heaven. The problem with this approach is that it's never good enough. No matter how hard you try, you're still going to come up short. Romans 3.23 Every, Everyone has seen and come also. <clears throat> it's important to try to live a good life, but God says that it's not enough. Even when we try to do good, ang sinasabi po ng Isaiah 64 verse 6, <clears throat> our, all our righteous acts are like filthy rocks. Being good is never good enough. <clears throat> At the very moment, ibang plan, another plan. Why worry plan? Why worry plan? No, marami po sa atin that we believe that everyone goes to heaven when we die. At marami po tayong mga narinig na mga tao kapag tayo tinanong natin sila ng mga ganong katanong. And uh, ang sabi po nila ay ganito. Well, this was too bad, but at least we know she is in a better place now. Pag namatay ako, uh, malungkot na namatay na siya. But uh, masaya dahil lang natin nasa better place na siya. Kano tayo pati ako na namatay siya sa better place. <clears throat> At naunawaan natin yung kanilang mga sentiment and we can appreciate the gift, the grief that people experience but this statement reveals an underlying belief that many of us have that when people die, they just go to heaven. But dito po sa ating text, no? hindi napunta sa langit itong series na. Na-surprise siya. No? Sabi ko nga nung minsan, tatlong surprise yung makikita natin. Kapag dumating tayo, kapag nandung ka, first surprise, makikita mo, yung hindi mo inaasahan na nandun, ay nandun. Sa surprise, di ba? At pagkatapos, yung inaasahan mo na nandun, ay wala dun. The surprise, but ang pinakamalaking surprise, wala ka rin. <laughs> diba? It's a surprise. Kaya ang surprise itong si rich man. <laughs> Jesus made it very clear that there is a place called heaven and a place called hell. 
And most people avoid the narrow road that leads to heaven. In Matthew 7, 30-14, Sari Quran enters through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the road that leads to destruction. And many enter through it. But as small is the gate that narrow, the road that leads to life, and only few finds it. Many are on the road that leads to destruction. After we die, we'll have to give an account for our lives. When we stand before God, there will be no secret. Everything will be made known. Those who have lived only for themselves and had no room for God in their lives will be like the rich man who is in torment in hell. Only those who put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ will go to heaven when they die. A payment has to be made for sins. In Romans 3, 6, 23, for the wages of sin is death. A payment and a sentence must be carried out. Because of our sins, we all deserve to go to hell. But Jesus died in our place on the cross. He died to bridge the gap between the holy God and the sinful people. Those who admit their sinfulness and transfer their trust to Christ by receiving Him into their lives or they will go to heaven. Those who recognize that they are sinners and repent and through faith accept the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, then they will go to heaven. Those who do not will spend eternity in hell to die for the crown of sin, which man. The Bible is clear, and we will not scripture reading. You know? Man is destined to die once, and after that, judgment. So yung pong worry plan, tsaka yung good plans, both are filled with problems. There will be a time of judgment, and because of this, some of us, do need to worry because our good works aren't good enough. They were busy in their lives and their own concern. They were too wound up to slow down and listen to what God has said in the Bible. The question is adding to that. What will happen to us, to you, when we die? You only have two options. If you have a second birth, you will go to heaven. What is the second birth? I thought, born again. What is that born again? <laughs> huh? You acknowledge that you are a sinner, that your faith, be accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you will go to heaven. So after this poem uh, preaching, kung gusto niyo po kung alaman about what the born again is, then nakita niyo po ang um, pastors o yung ibang kapatid na at iba kang wala sa inyo. If you don't, you have to face the judgment of God and you will spend eternity in hell. I remember when Mr. John Wesley and I going to the places in Mexico, Pampanga, <laughs> somewhere in Florida and Angeles City. <laughs> we are preaching, Mr. Wesley is preaching the word of God to the crowd. And every time he preached, it ends his preaching with, You must be born again. And every time he went to places, then one, one guy, he is always following Mr. Wesley's, uh, where he is, he is preaching the gospel. He asked Mr. Wesley, 
Mr. Wesley, why every time you preach the good news, you end with, you must be born again. Then Mr. Wesley responds, because you must be born again. <laughs> Kim Fu-Hin responds, because you must be born again. <laughs> Yung sabi po, uh, meron daw pong isang truck no, na nakulog itong evangelist. No, at nang buksan itong truck, no, may title May title yung truck na kanyang napuro. What you have to do to go to hell? Sabi niya, magandang basahin ito. Kasi may title, what you have to do to go to hell? Yung buksan niya, nothing is there. Black, black, black. Wala nakasulat siya. Why? The way it works is inside. Because you don't have to do anything to go to hell. Just continue as you are. Eh, ang plan kayo, wala kang dapat gawin. Na magpatuloy ka lang sa ginagawa mo. Then you go to hell. So, what must I do to go to heaven? Ano po sinasabi ng Acts 16.31? Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Do nothing and be lost. Trust Christ and be saved. Do you believe that? Church? Then, kasabi sa ating isipan, no? Can I really say? God can really say me and my loved ones? Can God really say your loved ones? Uh, Sorry for you, bro. There's a verse 29. Now, nandun po yung God's past effort to save us and your loved ones. What are the things God has already done to save them? No. First, the word of God in John 5, 39. No. Jesus uttered his words, search the scripture, for in them you think we have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. Isa raw pong greatest gift no, sa humanity sa atin, no, yung pong Bible. No. In the pages of this perfect Bible, God gives a revelation of himself to mankind. In the pages of the Bible, we are able to read of the love of God for sinners and the plan of God to save sinners. That is why the Bible is proof that God has made effort in the past to save you and I and our loved ones. Imagine it took 40 different authors in 1,600 years para kumabuo itong Bible. At sabi ko ni James, these books are proof that God wants to save us and our numbers. Ano pa po? The work of God. When we look back across the landscape of time past, we can see the hands of God has reached us out of eternity into time to perform His mighty works, all of which were and are designed to bring man to a saving knowledge of himself. We can see the great works of God, the fact that He is interested in saving us and our loved ones. First, in creation. In creation that exists all around us stands a proof of God's great desire to bring our loved ones and us to Himself. Sabi ko na Psalms 19 verse 1 to 4, 
all around us stands the proof of God's existence and love for man. God has done everything in His power to reveal Himself to man through His creation. Only those who will be willfully blind cannot see Him when they look around, or as the psalmist says, perhaps they are simply poor. Kapag hindi nila nakita ito mga ito sa mga pilita. And then in Christ, not only does the created world speak loudly and clearly that there is a God in heaven who is interested in man and his salvation, but the very fact that God sent his son into the world in proof that God wants to save us and our The Bible tells us that in Jesus we find proof positive of the love of God for the lost. Our favorite verse, John 3, 16. The Bible also says that Jesus is the perfect revelation of the Father. John 10, 30 and John 14, 9. The very fact that God sent His Son to reveal Himself to mankind is proof that it is having my and that God wants to save us, to save the lost, and it includes our loved ones. The cross. When all the word works of God are taken into account, man more clearly proves the heart of God to save the lost man, to save the lost than the death of Jesus Christ on the cross at Calvary. Paul tells us that this event is the explained expression of God's love for us. Romans 5, 8. When we stop for a minute to think everything Jesus suffered, He suffered because of you and I. Isaiah 53, 5 says, Every loss of the wee, every drop of spit, every blow of his face, every word of mockery, he loves us. Every feel of laughter, every disgrace and indignation, Jesus suffered. He suffered because he loves us and was taking our penalty upon himself. 2 Corinthians 5.21 Even in the midst of his suffering on the cross, God the Father judged Jesus in our place. Matthew 27.26 The work of Christ at Calvary and the work of the Father at Calvary proves beyond our question the truth of God once saved us and our loved ones. Why? Because when Jesus died, he was not dying for himself, but for all those who need a Savior. The will of God. There is yet another proof from the Bible which teaches us that God wants to save the lost. This truth is found in 2 Peter 3.9. This verse tells us that God wishes for no one to go to hell or to perish, but he that he wants to be saved. In keeping with that wish, God has done everything in his power to make a way for salvation. It is his will that you and I and our loved ones to be saved. And in, 30, in 29 to 31, you know, God's present effort to see our loved ones. The conviction of the Holy Spirit. God is capable of doing something that you and I cannot do. We can knock our loved ones, we can pray with them, we can beg them, but we can never touch their heart in conviction, that is, 
We can never show them that they are sinners and that they are lost without the Lord God. Only God can do that. And that is what He promised to do in John 16, verse 8. You never know when and how God is working on the heart of our loved ones. Therefore, what would I want to give up? Continues praying with them and telling them the love of God. The change in the saint. One of the greatest things God does to touch the heart of the lost is to make a drastic change in all those who come to Him for salvation. And we are included to Him. The change is so drastic that 2 Corinthians 5 17 says, it describes it as literally becoming a new creation. When a sinner is saved, they are changed. And when they are changed, their friends and families can see the difference and that will speak volumes to the sinner's heart. Kaya kung sinasabi po natin na tayo ay saved at wala po silang makitang evidensya, then we are cheating for we are saving ourselves. Kasi po, there is something na nagbabago. Sabi niya, the old was gone and the new was come. Walang change ay may problema. So now, whether the last person will admit it or not, he is deeply bothered by his sin and by his life when they saw the change of the sins. Then when he sees what God can do for another person just as bad or even worse than himself, it touches his heart and show him that God can make a difference for him too. Walang matigas na puso. Hindi kaya ng palamutin. Hindi nga niya palalamutin eh. Sabi niya, He will give you a new heart. He will remove the heart from the stone. And then the challenge from the scripture, the challenge from the scripture. God has given us a perfect revelation of Himself in His Word, His Book, as it is preached and as it is lived out in society, will have an enormous impact on the lost. Adiponya, live out. Hindi po yung, sabi nga, no truth is cannot do nothing, ah, cannot, parang magagawa. But, root down, ay malaki. Ginagawa po natin mga Bible study, no? Upang malaman natin yung mga katotohanan, kapag hindi po natin ito na practice, ay useless. Gaya lang yan, na nag-enroll ka lang swimming, kinuha mo lahat ng mga Uh, ang dami ng mga uh, maratarnalya para matuto ang mga swimming. But if you don't go to the water, then you will not learn to swim. May basa ka lang ang basa, basa ka lang ang basa. At hindi ka pumunta ka sa tubig. Useless. Hindi ka matutong lumangoy. Same thing. Aral na tayo ng aral na we will not apply sa ating mga buhay. Then the challenge of the scripture. The book God has promised to take his word and use it as a sharp word. He was for well to touch the heart of men. The gospel which we preach may seem as foolishness to those who do not know the Lord, but when the truth is applied to their hearts by the Spirit of God, then conversion 
take place. All I'm saying is that God is busy trying to save the lost. And then lastly, <laughs> your personal effort to save your loved one. What can we do to see that they come to know the Lord Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior? We should be concerned about them. Kaya na kita po natin ng rich man. Concerned po siya sa kanyang kapatid. But it's too late. No? Di na pwede siyang umuntaroon. Kaya sabi nga sa ating pag-aaral ay hanggat mabubuhay pa sila. Ipadaman natin yung ating pag-ibig. Especially kapag sila ay napahaginan natin salvation to our Lord Jesus Christ. Ay, sila ay magkaroon ng eternal life. You should have a burden for those whom you love. A burden to see them saved and living for the Lord. Many have wept, many tears over those who care to po sa mga unsaved. No, at yung pong challenge sa atin ay malaking challenge. God will honor in our tears. No, kung hindi po tayo humihinto, nilapit natin sila sa Panginoon. He will certainly honor the broken heart. Psalm 51, 70. A broken heart over the lost will touch their heart for the glory of God. How many have heard? How many? Ang itong na damatay na narinig po natin na nag-testify na ang tagal ko na siya pinakanalanin at sa lakas ay natinig din, nasugnatugun din ng panalangin ko sa akin. So hindi lamang po na mayroon tayong concern sa kanila, we should be consistent before them. Yeah. Consistent. Another thing that is indispensable in bringing them, no, our loved ones, to Jesus is a consistent life. Kung ano yung sinasabi natin, yun ang um, nakikita sa atin. Walk the talk. Kasi pag sabi lang tayo ng sabi, tapos wala namang nakikita sa atin, a life that doesn't talk, charge on Sunday, lamang. But, pagkatapos natin sa church, nakita sa ating mga buhay. A life that doesn't retaliate in anger, but one that reaches out in love. A life that is different from one that is separated and one that is sold out to the Lord. No one will ever win their love that the, to Jesus by living an inconsistent Christian life. The only way to do it is for you and I na makita po sa ating mga buhay kung paano po tayo binamit ng ating Panginoon. The question is, does that describe us? And lastly, alas na pala ito. <laughs> we should be compassionate toward them. No? Ano ba yung ibig sabihin? No? We need to remember when we were in their show and be patient with them. Again, patient po tayo. If our loved ones are doing things that upset us and they are living in sin, yun po yung may expect natin. 
because they are dead, sabi po ng mga Christian. They are dead in their trespasses and sin. They are just doing what the person naturally do. They are rotting. <clears throat> we are living in a fantasy world if we think that we change a lost person and make them live godly lives just because we want them to. That kind of change requires the power of the Almighty God. Hindi po natin sila kayang baguhin. Ay ang Diyos lamang po ang mapagbabalis na ito. Pero yung tayo natin mali ay lapit natin sila sa mga ako. We proclaim to them the goodness of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mamuhay tayo na consistent doon sa sinasabi natin at makita sa atin yung tunay na magbabago para may makita ang ebidensya. We should be patient. We should pray and we should wait on the Lord. He will touch them. But probably, hindi ito sa ating schedule. Merong schedule. Um, and sa ating mga believers, no? so, hindi lang ganong kadali na tayo ay mababa ng isang kailangan. It takes years or even it takes our life. If you want to grow squash, it will grow in a three months. But to grow a Christian, it takes time. And God is not interested in growing squash. <laughs> he is interested in growing us as a believer. <clears throat> as we think of these things, it is evident that the Lord has done everything in His power to provide a means of salvation for us and for our loved ones. And He has done everything He can to point out to them. He is even using us to draw them to Himself. All that remains is for them to turn to God and be saved. At kung ikaw sa mga oras nito ay wala kang tamang relasyon sa ating Panginoon Kristo, ito yung panawagan sa atin. Sabi ko nga, may tomorrow will not come. Today is the day of salvation. Panawagan ng ating Panginoon sa bawat isa sa atin kung nais mo na tumungo dun sa feeling ni Abraham o dun sa place nito si Richman it's your choice at mag you will decide you will decide today because tomorrow will not come at praise God at itinrobay niya po yung lahat hindi nung kami nga ay nag uh, babayang study ng brother Joseph yung kapag yung iba mga groups kapag ikaw ay nakagawa ng ganito no? nakatulong ka ng ganito ikaw ay nagpagawa ng mga church no? kasi pag-usapan namin yung iba ay nagpapagawa ng church no? sa kanilang kapat ng bahay marahin po din sa kapat kaya pag tinanong namin sa kapatid kung saan siya susuduin kung sabihin na nasa mos pagka isang kwarto may mos ay doktor <laughs> no? so kung yun may kaya lang no? uh, pwede tumungo dun sa feeling ng ating kanyo uh, tayo ay mga But God, He is only the God Himself, the great being, God, soul, 
in the highest degree of his affection, of his love. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, so that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Let's stand. Father, we thank you, God, for your message to us. Lord, tonight, we know that we are not alone. 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 Lord, nakita po namin ang dalawang sinaro, the rich man and his Lazarus. Lord, help us na hindi po kami gaya ng rich man na naging busy ang ala kung siya ay nagubuhay at hindi niya inalala ko yung mga kung ano ang kanyang ahahan ko na kung siya ay nawala rin sa mga rin. He was surprised kung nandun siya to the place of God. And then si Lazarus of God is expecting, no? Because of his new kalagay niya sa buhay, you know, that when he died, may nandun po siya sa bilis ng kailan. Lord, we don't know kung hanggang kailan po kami sa umuling ng kapatid. We pray, Lord, na lagi nang lima sa mga in this hour, ang panawagan niyo sa bawat isa sa amin ng mga mga that you have already provided the means for us to go to heaven. Lord, we pray to you that we will take that narrow road that we will recognize that you are a sinner and repent for our sins and true faith set our our Lord to save Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Lord, salamat po sa iyong mga sa'yo. Salamat sa iyong mga pahala. Salamat sa iyong pagkini. We pray, Panginoon, na as we leave this place, dahil magkaroon po kami ng right decision. Decision, Panginoon, na we will na hindi po namin pagsisisihan Panginoon, the course, the decision, Panginoon, that give us your own arating, Lord, to sa pilih mo. Maraming maraming salamat po, Lord, sa buhay ng mga anak na narin ito. You know, Lord, the business net, the accident, to my young plans, for that, for them, for us, to hear the message of salvation to hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you for the heart that you have given us. The heart, I know, the, to obey and to not to reject your offer of salvation. Lord, salamat po. At patuloy, Panginoon, even sa aming paglabas sa lugar nito, Padala namin, Lord, yung mga mensahe na naman na aming nalilig. Sa tulong yung mga espiritu, patuloy yung mga ringo ko sa amin. At magkaroon ng pagbabako sa amin sa iyo ng Diyos, ikaw sa buhay. Lord, maraming.